I'm gonna try to apply silicone, <clears throat> silicone layer in the back of the solar cell so that it makes it a uh, uh, waterproof because I realized they're extremely sensitive to water. Like once the water hits the back plate, it starts to uh, peel off those, uh, those uh, layer. This was not a good idea. That's pretty messed up. Uh, now I have to figure out a way to cut this and apply some paint so that it doesn't look that ugly, you know? That's 20 volts, number two. Here's number two. And 21 volts. Number three. Twenty-one volts. And the last one right here. This one is thirteen volts.
Well, it definitely can cook. Yeah, now we're on 15 amps. Okay, why did it went down? Well, I see because it's cloudy. Because it's cloudy, it's actually covering the sun right now. Once the cloud moves away, it's gonna go back to 15 amps. Fifteen point eight. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, if I remove these diodes, I'm gonna be hitting sixteen amps at least. So I got this rice cooker. Now this one is a DC. It's a DC rice cooker. The advantage of <clears throat> using a DC it is a <clears throat> lot more efficient because you're bypassing this inverter which turns DC to AC it loses some energy but this one is directly DC to DC started now it's consuming nine nine point seven amps looks like it's finished it took about <coughs> uh, one hour let's see yeah that's what I'm talking about let me guys know if you guys have any ideas like how I can use the solar energy to help me to save fuel on my vehicle like I don't know like a water uh, electrolysis and like making HHO hydrogen fitting that into my engine or maybe adding some motor or something on a Ford Ranger if you guys have any ideas let me know okay bye bye